All right, guys, uh, so check this out. Um, so I just recently got this boombox. I was actually looking for the uh, Sharp GF-9696, like for years. Uh, I've been looking for that boombox for years, uh, but I couldn't get it. So I got this one, which is even better because this is the uh, Japanese version. This is the Sharp GF-508SB. All right, um, it's too bad that uh, um, it was made for the uh, Japanese market. So um, it runs on uh, 100 volts compared to the uh, to the US 120. Uh, that's all right, I can use it with, uh, with a power supply um, and with batteries. Which is fine but um like i said I've, I, I've been looking for this boom box for a while like years i got the gf uh 96 ni wait, 94 94 but i was looking for specifically specifically for the 96 96 and uh guys this boom box sounds amazing it's beautiful uh the radio works uh the cassette deck it fast forwards and rewinds, but um, it doesn't play. So I had the suspicion that uh, obviously uh, it was the uh, the uh, yeah the tubing um, idle tire that um, goes attached to the um, to the to the capstan to the. Uh, to the flywheel okay and uh, okay so I'm gonna show you how to open this boom box okay um, first obviously sorry about that okay let's try that one more time so obviously you're gonna remove the the screws on the back which is eight of them okay uh, you can see this one right here but there's one right here one two three four five six seven eight that's it all right then you flip it over and you may want to remove some of this stuff first like uh, I'm glad that uh, this boom this boombox is in amazing condition, considering it's like a uh, probably like what came out in uh, eighty one, eighty two, probably. So that's make that makes it forty two, forty three years old, probably forty five, maybe. Super old, okay. And this is really cool because you can remove the. Uh, Speaker drills. To display the, the, the actual speakers. Okay, so um, you may also want to remove the covers for these sliders right here, fourth of them. And then you're gonna remove uh, the cover for the uh, for the for this pot, as you can see, everything is uh, in in Japanese, so I more or less know what it means or what buttons are what for what and everything. But uh, uh, you're also gonna remove the the covers for the sliders too. Uh, the top is also removable, but uh, you need to remove the the front cover first. Okay, so once you do that, you open the. Uh, the cassette door as you can see even when it's in japanese right here you got the 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 universal signs of pause uh rewind fast forward record play and eject all right so you eject the, the door and carefully you're gonna push this front cover towards you okay Oh, also you remove the uh, 
the tuning knob, which is on the side right here. You can use the, the gap right here on the side so you can push it, maybe with your fingers and your nails carefully because there's some uh, cables attached to the speakers and to the to some of the boards. So you do that. So in this version, This is two of them. It should be the the connection for the uh, for the headphones right here, and the cables for the speakers and these controls right here. But they should stay in place, you know. And then you can also remove this thing. It's a little bit tricky when you have to put it back, but uh, yeah, once you get the hang of it, you, this is pretty easy. As you can see, everything is in amazing condition. Like when I got this boombox, I was like, "Wow, it's it's got some um, pitting on the on the chrome, but uh, I was able to remove the pitting on on this other side from this uh, for this trim right here and for the microphone trims. But I'm gonna try this side too. But uh, it's gonna be harder to come off on this on the on the handles." For some reason, I don't know. So then you're gonna find, let me remove the camera right here. As you can see, the cables are right here. And you need to open this, uh, it's kind of like a wire holding all the cables down. There you go. And this is the, the headphone jack. It should stay in place. If it doesn't, then just push it back. Let me show you real quick. cables are right here okay right here so make sure you take pictures because uh I'll show you right there so on the bottom You got the white one and then you got the yellow one. And on top, you got the black one first and then the, the blue one. And then you gotta unplug this one and this one right here, okay? So you unplug those. I already tested the boombox with batteries and the radio works. Guys, this boombox is loud. It's, it's got an amazing sound. I don't know. I don't think I need to remove the, the red one. So that's going to stay there. But I didn't, I do need to remove this one. And this one, the small one. Okay, that one has a, a lock. So I'm going to...
Okay, you also need to remove this one too. There you go. And you can just set aside it. The front cover. Which look like, looks like this. There you go. I'm showing you this. I'm showing you this in case you need to solder back a cable or something. You need it for reference. There you go. Also, I just I just remember. Be careful. Be like super careful when you're putting this thing back the the whole front. When you're putting it back, okay? Because you might puncture the, the speakers with this, okay? It hasn't happened to me, and I won't, I don't think it's gonna happen. But uh, if it's your first time opening a boombox or maybe the second time, yeah, just be careful with the, all the um, all these things, okay? And the speakers. Do pretty much everything carefully. Okay, as you can see, I can see right away that that's the only thing it needs. Let me show you. Okay. Check that out. So. The idle tire that I was mentioning earlier goes in there, okay? So we pretty much need to remove the whole cassette mechanism. Flip it over, pull this out, which is the flywheel. And then when you're gonna put it back, when you get the, uh, the idle tire, you put it in there. Let's assume everything is clean, clean and everything, because uh, I think it's melted. As you can see from the tire, it's melted, so I need to clean that up. And then once I, I clean it up, uh, I'm going to push the, uh, the idle tire in there. And then I'm going to put the flywheel back into place. And that's going to make the, uh, the, uh, the idle tire stay in the middle, okay? And that's pretty much all it needs. I'm gonna check if I need to replace some belts, but uh, by the looks of it, they're looking in amazing condition. And the good thing about this boombox, the 9696, 96, is that uh, they didn't. Uh, okay, so they. I, I fixed the GF 9, 80, 85, 85, and 86, 86. And all of those, those boomboxes have a cheese, what is called like a cheesy gear. And it's this one right here. I guess the, uh, they uh, fixed that issue and get a better uh, quality gear. So that's good. I mean, I had to do it because uh, this one's obviously pricier than the, the other ones where they came out. Um, other than that, it's super clean and I just need to do that, right? So I'm gonna clean that up. And then when, once I get everything together, I'm gonna show you how it goes, all right? Thank you guys for watching.